Hey everybody, I hope all is well. I am coming to you live from Surf City, one of my favorite neighborhood restaurants to congratulate Ari Kagan as the winner of the Democratic primary, to thank our volunteers and to let you all know what is next for our community work. Ari has a clear lead in the vote count to win the Democratic primary. But I want you all to know that we came in close second. So I congratulate him and I, along with the rest of our community, are going to hold him to the promises he makes. My commitment to you is to continue our community work. So this Sunday, I'm going to join Assemblywoman Frontis for a cleanup of the Coney Island Creek, followed by helping residents clean the grounds of two NYCHA buildings. All of you are encouraged to rise to the occasion and join us. And we appreciate Matil for endorsing a first-time mission-driven candidate. Now, I'd like to give a special thanks to some of the wonderful volunteers and team members who helped make our 70 events and mission-based campaign even possible. Together, Raina Goble and I developed the events and policy. She always kept us laughing and kept our volunteers from dying of starvation. Nobody believed she wasn't getting paid for it. My campaign manager, Jack, for dreaming up the cool fridge magnets with police and sanitation contact information on it that we sent out to all the voters. Dan Aliata for being the best treasurer a candidate could ask for. He volunteered to read several hundred pages of the CFB handbook cover to cover to prepare and submit our financial compliance reports. I want to thank Josh Pesson for doing everything from packing hundreds of fans into his car when Warbass residents were without air conditioning to help deliver meals to seniors at the beginning of the pandemic. I want to thank Jamu Osborne and his sister Mia and his nine-year-old daughter Jenna for their dedication and inspiration. Jamu donated his personal heater to a family without heat in a NYCHA building during the winter months. And Jenna, with her smile and smarts, may just be our councilwoman someday. So I'm buying stock early. Daniel Bromberg for writing our newsletters and for being the first to volunteer to call seniors in the community during the pandemic. Dan taught me what Russian empathy sounds like. I want to thank Marianne Kennedy, one of the most respected elders of the Coney Island community, for serving as an inspiration to me. I hope that I've got Mr. Kennedy's 96-year-old energy when I'm 30. He didn't just organize for us. He hit the ground running himself. I want to thank Steve Sharippa for his first and likely only endorsement he'll ever make of a political candidate. I hope that we made him proud. I want to thank our consultants, Joe, Allison, Max, for always sticking by us and making sure that we continue to run a mission-based campaign. I want to thank T.T. Moore for rolling a mile every morning by wheelchair to hand out palm cards at the train station in her Pats or T-shirt. She weathered threats from unknown callers to stop supporting us. I want to thank Michael Quinn for his humor, for his advice, and for bringing back the Feltman's hot dog to the neighborhood. He made me believe in mustard on hot dogs again. I want to thank Conchetta, Julia, Anne, Sheila, Denise, Shirazi, Charlene, and Maria for spreading the word about the campaign and our mission whenever they could. I also want to give a special shout out to Kashif, who lost his own mother from COVID and channeled his grief to serve the community. Asan Chuktai and Kashif opened a hunger truck and pop-up food distributions across the city throughout the entire pandemic, serving more than 800,000 meals. I want to thank my mom, who without her teaching me frugality, we couldn't have organized 70 events completely from donations of our neighbors and small businesses. I want to thank my brother for volunteering at a moment's notice and being my piano accompaniment on our music videos. I want to thank my extended family, Amanda and Alma, and all of the other remarkable volunteers. It's my hope that campaigns about service to communities become mainstream as locals seek elected office. So no matter the outcome, the community gets something out of the deal. We did make a difference. And as a reminder, strong communities are built by people like you.